Hey everyone, I'm Apurva and I would be briefly analyzing an article that I recently found online. This article is titled, Why America Would Lose a Trade War Against China and was electronically published on the 7th of February 2017. It was written by Professor Wintany. Dr. Vintany is a professor of management at IMD Business School and she is also the regional director of IMD Southeast Asia as well as Oceania. Another interesting fact about Dr. Vintany is that she is both an American as well as a Chinese citizen. So let me give you a brief summary of the text so that we can both be on the same page. This um, article is written in a scenario stating that a trade war has occurred in between America as well as China. Now, it says that if a trade war occurs, the first to be affected would be American companies like Walmart, simply due to the fact that they import goods worth billions of dollars from China. And once the trade war is in place, the prices on all these goods would skyrocket from beyond the reach of the lower economic brackets due to the imposition of tariffs. The result would be an economic war of attrition that China is infinitely better positioned to win. In order to see where this is going, we need to look at Forex or the foreign exchange reserve rates of the two countries. The Chinese foreign exchange reserve rates are lying at $3 trillion, whereas that of US lies at $120 billion. We can already see that, the chi that China's foreign currency reserves are 25 times greater than that of America's. And once these tariffs are placed, they would automatically trigger penalties against the US in the World Trade Organization as well. And this might even lead to the collapse of the WTO, which would then further lead to higher tariffs against the US exports. While Yes, it may take a while for that to happen. The turmoil would be catastrophic for American businesses as well as employment. China, on the other hand, would emerge relatively unscathed. In fact, the importance of the US-China relationship is already being challenged by other players. For instance, let's look at the local Chinese manufacturers, Samsung, who are already competing with Apple's iPhone sales. Both China and leading economic experts hope that a trade war would not happen in between two countries. In fact, the American political system is relatively mature with checks and balances, but the author highlights that with a president who often acts uniquely based on his own beliefs and regarding complex issues, almost anything is possible. Some of the issues highlighted in the text could be that there are there would be tariffs imposed on almost all the goods in America which would thus affect the employment rates as well as the American businesses. The second issue could be the collapse of the World Trade Organization. And the third one would be I quote both China and leading economic experts hope that the trade war won't happen. So that itself shows how grave the matter is. In fact, some of the arguments made by the author would be that the tariffs once imposed would increase the price of goods and services, thus triggering the collapse of the World Trade Organization. This would leave the American economy in shambles from the loss of business as well as reduce, reduction of employment rates. Another thing could be that China's forex is 25 times greater than that of the US, meaning that the country would be more likely to pay off any damages that could be that could happen on them when the trade war occurs than US. China is more economically and financially stable. And the last could be about the president of the US, Donald Trump, who bases his beliefs on complex issues that the author believes should be treated with should be treated with more seriousness. My beliefs, values and my beliefs and values on this are that Yes, 
once tariffs are increased, I mean, once tariffs are imposed, the prices of goods and services would automatically increase, which could lead to recession due to inflation. What I value as a person or as a student is equal employment opportunities and low taxes because I need to be able to live out my life without having to fork out every penny that I make from whatever minimum wage jobs that I'm doing in order to pay my student loan off. And equal employment opportunities are a necessity once I graduate. If I, if I don't have equal employment opportunities, I don't see the point in studying right now. The second belief is that, yes, China is a superpower equaling or greater than that of the U.S. due to a large number of companies and its higher population. I value in knowledge. As a citizen of a developing country, India, I value knowledge since we should all know what is going on outside of our country. We should we should read up on issues like this because otherwise we would be uninformed and uninf and being uninformed is one of the worst things that could happen to anybody. And the third one is that I believe that no single person should be given the power to make decisions that could affect a much larger scale than the person himself. And for this, we need to all value a better leadership. If there is no good leader to lead the team, then we can see that the whole team lose. Even if one of the underlings of the leader decide to go their own way, it's the leader who should pull them and put them back on the path. And with America, we can't see a leader who is able to do that. My beliefs, values, and status are only reinforced by what the author have written, and I have provided all those reasons earlier. I also am of the same stance as the author on this issue. This is my analysis of the text, and I'd like to thank you for watching me for this long. Thank you very much.